today with a brand new Amazon Custom Returns Electronics and Home Goods Palette. So this one has three of these huge, gigantic, huge, large boxes. Huge? I'm trying to think of a big, a big, huge, gigantic, huge boxes. <laughs> I don't think huge is the word, but okay. Yeah, these huge boxes are like. <laughs> I like it, huge. Huge. So they're like four. Poopage huge. Poopage huge boxes. <laughs> huge and poopy. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to say. Armpit sausage, but uh. <laughs> They're like four feet by like three feet ish. They're good sized boxes. So the pallet had three of these boxes on it. And the total MSRP of all three boxes, not this one, but the entire three box pallet is $1,699. We'll just round it up to 1,700. Give it that dollar. But the price, the liquidation price, which is not the full price, because this will be contain items that are used, damaged, new it runs the whole gamut like the trash cans out too the, yeah but uh but this was not a salvage pallet. No, it was this not was, salvage no. it was not salvage but it's kind of funny sometimes salvage pallets better than your non-salvage this is true but my cost the actual liquidation cost was exactly 150 dollars so about under a little eight, under eight percent maybe yeah. nine ish yeah so, so the price was fantastic yeah because i um uh, noticing a lot of times whenever i get my Liquidations where it's like the smaller boxes of like two, three, four, five, six, those prices have gone up. The pals with these huge boxes, the prices are staying where they usually are. So And these boxes honestly are a real pain. They're a pain and they're expensive to ship. So we buy locally. We pick it up in person, yeah. no shipping costs. Because they're big and they're bulky and Sometimes yeah. you've got heavy stuff on this end and light stuff on this end or or the box is really falling apart because yeah. there's so much weight in it It's literally it's falling apart So these aren't very popular for people to buy because the shipping costs are insane and stuff gets damaged because these boxes aren't good for shipping And they're not always packaged real lovely inside. It's just kind of well We'll throw this this and this in. doesn't matter what it is. It could be it could be liquids, it could be electronics, it could be, you know, bathroom items, it can be kitchen items. It doesn't matter. Just throw it all in one throw box. Throw it in. It doesn't throw it matter. In. Throw it in. They're not baggers at the grocery store. They don't care if your meat and your, your, uh, what? Candy? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Your this meat and your candy are in the same thing. No, they, they don't, don't care. care. They don't care. <laughs> so if you actually break it up, you can say, I paid 50 bucks a piece for each one of these boxes. If you break it up into threes, but obviously you can't because you know it's, it won't be spread evenly. But each box could be worth like five hundred, like sixty-five dollars. Got for fifty bucks, so it's pretty much I paid fifty bucks a box. So it's kind of like a no win-win uh, kind of situation. Pull the trash can closer. <laughs> Are you expecting this to be a challenge? Just getting prepped. So okay. here we go. So whenever we pick this up, all three boxes. This is the only one that was not taped. <laughs> Because sometimes these boxes, they the tape just kind of breaks on them. So uh, we actually didn't really dig around in this thing. And look, we just closed it up, put it back in the truck, we drove home. We were ready to go. <laughs> yeah, we had to wait like two hours a day. Oh, hour 45. So it wasn't a bad wait, but sometimes whenever you sit there for an hour, two hours waiting to get your pallets, you're ready to go. And he did bring his sausage this week, but he did not warm it up in his I did armpit. Because she told me not to. No armpit sausage this no week. No armpit sausage this week. There Not was this week. There was no like major disgusting thing that he did this week. No. But she did have a uh, a Swiss roll that I offered to make it an armpit Swiss roll. Swiss roll, but she she said no. That's a big word. Arm armpit Swiss. <laughs> Armpit, armpit Swiss, Swiss roll, roll. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't eat my Swiss roll. It's still in the it's still in the truck in the glove box. So what we could do is put it under the armpit right now. Have the whole video. No. I'll warm it up for you at the very end. You tell me how warm it got. I don't want it cooked. Okay, it's fine. Stinky it's fine. Pits. No armpit <laughs> Swiss roll. So you can go first, Miss Armpit. Uh, you're the armpit. Okay. I have not seen this thing before. I germ, actually have. You have? It's a good brand. Germ Guardian, and this is a pure, pure oh, that's not in germ, English. Germ Guardian, <laughs> no. I can read it though. Night, 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 four in one air purifier. This is, this is a good one? It's a good brand. Really? It's good, it's a good brand. It's nicely packaged. It's not this factory seal though, it's the Amazon warehouse tape. We're gonna take a little, little glance inside of it. If this was factory tape, I would not be doing this right now. Never break the factory seal if you don't have to. No. But a lot of these things, when these things get used, 
they might get kind of nasty. Okay, this this is used. It is used. Oh, bummer. It kind of smells used too. It smells like a, like like a, a baby's little bit. baby's room. Yeah. So it is used. Yeah. I you was probably gonna, can't see inside I that well. I was gonna look it up. But uh, this the Germ Guardian brand is a good brand. May I see that, sir? Yo. Please stop moving it. Good to know. We're just using the the Amazon app itself. We're using like the little picture searcher guide thing. Oh, it keeps coming up with a realistic glow in the dark star and moon. Yeah, it's not fine for me either. So I'll let you look that up manually okay. and I'll go to the next thing. Okay. So yeah, it, it, it can't read it Ooh, English or like French. You have to put your thumb or finger over the Oh, OPN. I was just gonna type it in. Oh, type it in. So next item, ooh. This is a Hamilton Beach Drink Master. Um, it makes some really awesome milkshakes and smoothies, but uh, that's some loose packaging. So what you're saying is you're not gonna make drink packages well, there, or smoothies. There actually already might be a smoothie made in here for Ooh. us. <laughs> well, that would be nice. Maybe. We got some bubbles in here to protect. Oh yeah. Um, is the smoothie in there? There's oh. some there's some dried uh there's there's some dried smoothie on the edge. Oh. Uh, I bet it's pretty good though. And here's the drink master itself, so it might work. Oh there's smoothie up there. Oh there ooh. Let me get some. Lick it! <laughs> I dare you. I'm not licking we got coronavirus right now. <laughs> I'll give you a thousand dollars if you lick it. You gotta pay more than that. Aww. But yeah, it, it did have some dried goodness on the blender. She won't lick it, I won't lick it, but uh, it might work, it might not, who knows. Who knows? Okay, so our germ guardian oh, this, that we have goes on top too. brought here, it sells traditionally for $99.99 on Amazon. Yeah, those those aren't cheap. However, uh -oh. it is currently on sale for $64.99. And so, that one is used because it smells like a, like a baby's room. So that baby. is the sale price at this time is $64.99. I don't know how long that will last, but that's mm. what it's pulling up on Amazon at this current moment. So it's right now it's like 30% off ish, 35% off. So like in this type, like we would actually charge like 50 or 60 bucks because the sale on that will end. It'll go back up in price and then ours will be more reasonably priced at that point. So you don't always have to match like the sale price. My turn? Your turn. I'm going for the mystery box. Adjustable oh. monitor stand. Amazon branded adjustable monitor stand. These are not very expensive. They're hard to sell. They're hard sell. Yeah, pretty much you sell those for pretty much next to nothing half the time. We have a uh, shower caddy stall thing. It has little suction cups in the That's back of it. That's actually nice. I know. It goes into the corner. You might have to, might have to use that in my bathroom. <laughs> you suck into the corner. I could, I could put like my beer here and then some snacks. Waterproof. Well, you got it upside down. I could put, I, I could put my beer here <laughs> and waterproof snacks right there. Waterproof snacks. What are waterproof snacks? If it's, if it's in the back, still seal it's waterproof until you open it up. Then you eat it quickly before it gets soggy, because you're taking a shower. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> waterproof snacks. I've done all this before in my lifetime. Okay. Waterproof snacks in the shower. We have an exhaust fan. That's real exciting. It's probably nasty and gross inside. We'll see. I will get my handy dandy pen hmm. knife out. Let's see. This box has a lot of bigger box items in it, uh, which is kind of it's kind of nice. Sometimes I have to have a whole bunch of smalls and broken stuff. This is bigger box stuff, which is actually fantastic to actually sell. Let's say if you have a flea market booth or you sell at a swap meet or you sell, sell at a indoor kind of vendor mall, stuff like this is fantastic for your, for, for your booths, you know? Or if you have a garage sale, if you have all this stuff stacked up in your garage sale, it looks this looks new. fantastic. Uh-oh. Yeah, this, this guy looks like it's new. Score. Maybe it's been pulled out of the box because the, the, there's a little tear on the instructions, but otherwise it looks pretty new to me. Can't sell for much. No, nah, probably not. Probably not. I don't even know if I was in the camera shot. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but that's okay. Y'all can hear me. 
So we have a Hamilton Beach coffee maker, five cup capacity. This is, oh, this is that, like the base, base, base model. Like, well, the cheap. Base I'm, model. I'm thinking maybe we need to keep that because our Keurig. I just like keeps, the Keurig cups. But our Keurig keeps pooping out, and we have 900 million Keurig cups. And I'm not kidding. Like 900 million. You guys, if you've seen our food openings, it's like coffee after coffee after coffee, which I'm not complaining uh, about. It's, it's used. It's got crud in there, kind of. Oh, well. So. I'm not complaining would, about it, but when your curing machine poops doesn't. out on you all the time. It only works half the time it's now. frustrating. And we tried to buy a new one, but the one they have now, they don't have a base that removes off of it, and that's required because we have all the, all the travel cups. Yeah. Our they mugs don't are fit like, in, in the Keurigs anymore. No, they don't. It's stupid. And our, our old one, it has a base to it, but you can just pull the base right off, and then you can fit your big travel mug underneath it. In fact, you could even um, put like a whole, like, um, oh, what are they called? The party in, like a like a party van, a party bus. N sure. Party time. A party bus. Party bus. No, like the one with the handle that the guys would carry. Yeah. Uh, camping. I, I and thought we're, with... what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Never I mind. Honestly, I, I don't know. Apparently, I was that boring. I huh? completely forgot what you were even talking okay, about. Okay, we have a chef man. I started to think about maker. like a party and then kind of a yoga line and stuff or a t toga, t tonga, a toga, a, a, a tonga line. And then I drifted back to you talking about <laughs> something. I was just like, Thank party you. bus? Thank you. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm so I, glad. I totally, I totally went to somewhere me. else. <laughs> I wasn't even here we for We have like some two kind days. of coffee maker thing. I think it's actually a decent brand though. Is it? I think Chef so. Man? I totally like was out of body experience right there. I was partying. I think that's what happens most of the time when I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> There's many a times in our life we should have a full conversation. Very <laughs> what? <laughs> Were you listening? Yeah. <laughs> Three dimensionally to the, listening. To the story in your own head. I listen to everything. Yeah. Oh. So we got a record player. I pulled it out. The first thing I hear, hopefully just the arm is loose. This is a walkoder? <laughs> walkoder. A walkoder turntable player. I don't think I've ever have gotten a walkoder before. Looks nice though. It has like a wooden, ooh, very important. It's got the charger for it. It's pretty nice though. I'm kind of. What is loose in there? I don't know. Oh, that's no big deal. This the loose piece is just a little, the little piece they put on here to play your 45s. Oh yeah. That's that's, that's all that's loose in there. Oh, cool. Sweet. I'll look that one up. Our coffee nice. man, our chefman, coffee man, yeah, coffee maker, 49.99 on Amazon. Yeah, this doesn't even look used. I mean the. If it was used, it's probably like it was tried out just to play it like a like a, a one record or two. It has like a, a fox wooden base to it, and a little forty five turn turntable. I don't want to take it out of the pull full packaging What's at this the, time. Is there a model on this? Walk odor, enjoying lifey. Fifty seven ninety nine. That's not bad. And That's this, the new Amazon price. It. Ooh, I just tore the box. Yeah, fifty seven ninety nine. <laughs> Just pull the box. But there's different di different oh, yeah. types. Oh, nice that that's the right one. That's the this little like, like yep. the wood grain, the yep. fox wood. So fifty seven ninety nine is what you're looking at. Well, of course we went sell hey. for full full price though. Hey. But Bobo. Oh. Okay, Bing Bong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Where did Bing Bong go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no! Okay, that next thing is yours. That's yours. <laughs> oh, that's yours. We next have item. a, a Fooey Star. Fooey Star. Fooey Star. Fooey Star. Adjustable mandolin. Vegetable it's, shopper. It's called what? Fooey Star. Fooey Star. Oh, Fooey. Doesn't make any sense. Sure does. So it chops up vegetables. It chops vegetables, which that he sounds... does not eat. Oh heck no. Ooh, is it Ooh, as seen on TV? I'm gonna try it that. It is. This is as seen on TV stovetop panini and sandwich maker. So, 
You guys, I've started kind of a new little thing with As Seen on TV. And for I'm, her channel, direct link down for, below. Yep, the Y Franchise Kicks. And I'm trying out this stuff. Does it work? Trial things. It doesn't have to be all As Seen on TV, no. but the, just the things that you're sometimes a little skeptical about. And you're like, does this really actually work? And I'm trying it out. So check it out on my channel. Don't break it before I try it. What are you doing? See if it's new or used. Well, open it. Well, I don't want to take it apart too much. It's used. It's used, but we can just clean it's it up. It's very lightly lightly used. Lightly used. Doesn't like shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Does this work? As I a fly mean, swatter, that is correct. Oh, it does look like a fly swatter. So okay. she might have to put this onto her, her channel. Does it work? The panini and sandwich maker that does not close all the way. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it's a little, a little class thing. <laughs> <Dur -dur. laughs> Dur -dur -dur. Okay, so. Understanding and, and comprehension is half the battle. <laughs> Our next one is the most exciting item I think you guys may have ever seen in the box. Comparatively to the the uh, the mom washer and gas passer, gas passer and the snot sucker, the trifecta. This one might be right up there with it. Not as good though, but it's it's up there. We have a pooper scooper. <laughs> Do you want to see if it's been pooped and scooped? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm not touching it. I think it might have coronavirus on that. I don't oh. know. A pooper scooper? Let's see. Have we been pooped and scooped? No, it's brand new. Smell it. Just put your put, just. It's brand new. Okay. <laughs> you got snot on your nose. Oh, I do? Yeah. Maybe next time coronavirus. I Coronavirus. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. You do the last one. Gosh, since we shouldn't joke about one. it. Oh, you shouldn't. Okay. Our last item in this box is Victrola. the Victrola record player. This this guy is a pretty inexpensive like record player. It's like um, fitty. New. And a lot of times when we've gotten these in the past, they have had some small issues small sometimes. issues maybe not, not, the arm maybe broken. like a quarter of the time but most of the time i've really had a problem with these but, but here's the major problem most of the time no you don't get the charge cord. Cord. no they didn't include it unless it's inside it won't fit inside oh uh, well yeah so that's the big problem with they these didn't things. return the charger for it or like the power adapter for it nope that stinks no power adapter it's an immaculate shape though it's it's used. There's like dust on it. Yeah. Show show the. Oh, here our, you guys. Our friends at home. I'm I'm admiring it all to myself. But see, here's where the little forty five thingy goes, and it's but just, it looks like in good shape. Just needs a, a power adapter. Yeah. So. That's if, why we keep all loose power adapters for times like this. If you happen to ever return an item that has a power adapter, return the power adapter. Please. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> it kind of helps out people like us who buy liquidations, you know. I mean, that, that's only if you want to help us out. If not, then... <laughs> we'll, we'll just you know. go to our handy-dandy <laughs> little stock that we have. Yeah. All right. So that is actually... Oh, wait. goes this way. The last item... Dump in a record player, that won't hurt it. <laughs> this box has been like around. So that's the last item in this first box. So if you break it down, we paid 50 bucks a box. This box pretty much paid 50 bucks for you to break it down. And for 50 bucks, I think two we'll, thumbs up. I think we'll get it back. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I mean the record players, even if there's issues, fixable, non-fixable, 20, 25 bucks a piece, just those two would pay for the the whole this box at least and then we've got the germ guardian that's um, a good item as then, long as it works and this chef man good item so yeah the pooper scooper i mean that that might do it right there maybe and then we got well we and we got an an item to to have and come out and we we have an <laughs> item in this palette that we can use or what what she can doing? use this in a video, so it's kind of a bonus that we got an item that can be used in a future video on her channel, directly down below. There so, we go. Kind of like a win-win situation here. Yep. 
Yep. So. So, would you like to have your armpit Swiss roll now? Yes, please. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> How funny that people actually did have it in there the whole time. That'd be so Pull gross. it out. It's kind of like the chocolate's kind of melted a little That's bit. That's disgusting. Ooh, armpit sausage. Gross. Armpit sausage. All right. So that's everything that we have for box number for one. Box. We're going to kind of wrap all this stuff up and we'll be back with you with another video with box number two of this uh, three part. Uh, $1,700 electronics and home you. goods liquidation palette. Amazon customer returns. We are so good together. When I stumble, you jump in. Knock it off. <laughs> birds. I we'll see birds. you later. <laughs> Out. God. <laughs>